Ring game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. And um, get to our, I guess, our final topic, which is the poll topic. So, who wants to bring up our uh, the poll for us? Pause. Damn, that sounded so raw. This is twelve oh three, nigga. I need, I need to watch my English. Jeez. <laughs> and who wants to bring up the Twitter poll? I'm coming. Pause. Hold on. Whoa. Oh. God damn. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. I think, uh, well, pause this again. Is, uh, yeah, this nigga pause, said that. Yeah. Let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say. We tweeted a little bit about, you know, obviously the Pro Box card, which was pretty good. Check it out. It was a good card. Hold on. Let me see this. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. Well. So we did ask because there was a little bit of um, timeline. What, you know, there's people were asking, you know, who had the better career between one Errol Spence Jr. and Triple G Gennady Golovkin. This so was we, wild. This was wild. So we did decide to make a poll on it. Um, we got 355 votes with the four days and some change, so you can still vote on that at Ringing Radio. Again, that's Ringing Radio on Twitter and X. Anyways, 72% voted for Golovkin, 28 to Errol Spence Jr., the truth. And how many how many votes did we get so far? 355. Damn, yo. And that shit went, that shit, damn. Spence gets the Peters Putin, and Triple G does too. You know, and, but again, this has been kind of a... A hot, a hot topic, I'd say, right? And you know, the past couple days, for whatever reason, it's been a slow. Well, he's in denial. That's why. <laughs> no, well, yeah, and the reason why is because of fucking Ray Jackson, because he put a tweet out. Because I think, because because yeah, I think it was getting people saying that if, if Spence wasn't a Hall of Famer, then someone like Triple G is in the Hall is in the Hall of Famer. And then you know, I think that's where we got the pull uh, to do it. It's like, yeah, that guy said that shit up because to me, they're both Hall of Famers. But I'm just, yeah, I think same you know, thing. Same thing. I didn't even vote because same thing. What do you mean by vote. same thing? Wait, what do you mean by same thing? Same thing. Right. There's no way they're both the same, nigga. Y'all just haters. Same thing. <laughs> because some people, I'm not gonna lie, like you know, I run on Discord, and a lot of people say, you know, some people are saying that Triple G's resume is not, you know, that much above and beyond the names, you know. All the heroes have played. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. What are you saying? What are you saying, Juan? I just said uh, respectfully. Then what the fuck is Spence's resume? No, I know, I, I know. I'm just saying. I mean, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think I mean, think about this. Okay, look. We just start throwing names out there. N- niggas want to play stupid. Um, is Chris Algieri that much better of a name than fucking Kasim Uma? Nah, they're 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 relatively uh pretty similar. You know, similar names in a sense. Yeah. I mean, Uber, no, Uber is the Uber was the better fighter. I mean, yeah, hey, thank you. I'm just, I'm just like, okay. I know <laughs> niggas get to go to the seat here and say fucking Chris Alvary is the same level of Kasim. Even old, and, and, even past uh, it, Kasim Uma is better than Chris Alvary in his prime. I'm gonna say an, an Uma that was whose prime was at 154. Right. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Hold on, but wait, wait. Wasn't Alvary's prime at 140? Exactly. I don't rate that way very highly either. Okay then, but but even then, <laughs> one name is still better. <laughs> yeah, and, and with, with, I mean with Triple G, I mean obviously I know the biggest argument with obviously is you know Triple G has two losses, both to Canelo. But I know people also say like Triple G, D, Triple G didn't get washed by Canelo like Spence got washed by Crawford. Which yeah, he actually, he actually got robbed. Yeah, so to me, all I got oh, this is easy one like. How did they both look in their last fights? Yeah, I mean, Triple G looked old, but he was competitive. Like he got shit. They both yeah. looked like shit. Yeah, they both. one looked like shit and made the distance and won five rounds, clearly. Another guy looked like shit and won one round, maybe, and got fucking destroyed and dribbled like he was a fucking basketball in the hands of a Harlem Globetrotter. <laughs> so it's like... And, and the thing is now, is niggas really still telling me Spencer's Hall of Fame? When we be on this podcast week after week talking about, nah, Spencer ain't really Hall of Fame. So now when you match him up with Golovkin, he's Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's hard to... Yeah, like, like it's, which one is it? Like, niggas ain't consistent. And yes, Sir Kanan, GVG's resume has more character and depth to it. Of course. But niggas hate Triple G, so they always hit the same thing or 
well, you know, it's slightly better. Uh, well, Spence Buck beat bigger names. Who? Danny Garcia may as well be fucking Curtis Stevens at fucking 147. <laughs> and I'm a fucking Swift fan, nigga. And he's saying that too. That's something that I I'm saying, saying this. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I, I could have said, you know what? Let, let let this nigga Pat Cook say, you know, fuck it. Let let Pat Cook, nigga. But no, like, so it's like this why this why I don't have conversations about every boxer with everybody because niggas can't objectively look at shit. Niggas gotta, you know, say they bullshit or or consistently be like, oh, hold on, wait, I gotta miss the clock right now. Like, you can even see the comments, nigga, like... Because even with Triple G, even with his hardest fights, too, I mean, honestly, I mean, Triple G, for, I mean, honestly, is known for probably, I mean, obviously has one of the all-time great chin and punch resistance on top of that to boot. And jab, I mean, he had, you know, jab, too. He had a great, a great jab. Yeah. Thank you, like, what, what does Spence have? What weapon does Spence have is on an all-time level? Even for his division. Hmm. I mean, I always bring this up, and I, and I, I know y'all gonna bite back, pause, but he does have the second longest welterweight um, championship reign of all time. I'm just saying it. It's, it's on Wikipedia. You can. I'm just I saying. mean, it is like I mean, like, yeah, it is. Yeah, he's. he's, he's at, how many defenses, defenses, defenses is that? Yeah, that's not many. Defenses. You, can think, you can compare that to Golovkin shit. Even if you say Golovkin had one belt that he defended, staying. What, what's better, Pat? I mean, it took him. It took him a while for someone to to, to remove that to remove the belts from him. All you know, at least you know, like I said, you know, it took it took him a while. <laughs> I mean, even Canelo Canelo needed two chances to do that. To, you know, yeah. Like I just don't see this like like saying saying Spence and Golovkin is the same level is saying is saying is basically saying you want Spence to be as good as Golovkin. But you know he's not, so you're just gonna bring down Golovkin to his level. Now, now there's still, I mean, Spence. You know, I mean, Triple G's pretty much all but done now. Yeah. Like you know, if Spence chilling. still can do something now. But it depends on if he makes the right move. So because we all know, let's say, because yeah, Spence, I mean, Spence can can surpass Triple G and what he did. But it just now it depends on how he's gonna move post the Crawford fight. So. It's, it's not, but like I said, I know, but I know most people like it because I know with Triple G, because I mean, obviously Triple G is more or less, you know, he was more or less a backlash against HBO because you know once Floyd left HBO and went to Showtime, and HBO was pushing Euros, which they were doing, like they they pushed anyone that was kind of non-black. I mean, I'm not gonna admit it, but it, but I mean, it, they, it was you know chocolate the chocolatito days. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, yeah. And if if I think too is they were doing that to good fucking fighters, but the thing just. It, it, it didn't sit well with a lot of boxing fans. It became an HBO, quote unquote. Oh, he's an HBO hype machine, sort of. Um. Yeah, Chocolate Tito got it. Triple G got it. Like it was like it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we could go. I mean, we being honest, there's errors where this happens. Like Jermaine Taylor got it. Like yeah. yeah like, so I don't want niggas just be like, oh, there was a because niggas are trying to make it a racial thing. But fucking Jerm fucking Crawford was getting hyped over there. Ward, Ward was too. I mean, Ward yeah, Ward. like so. It's like niggas be like chill with all of that shit. It's just the Euro niggas was knocking motherfuckers out. The Americans were just fucking around and probably, but except for Seth Crawford, mm -hmm. yeah. you could literally promote Crawford and Golovkin the same. Mm -hmm. Just beating the shit out of everybody. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, it was just because because it was that unfortunate incident. I made people like and you know. And that I made people did not not fuck with Triple G. Like you know, Triple G can do everything, you know, but it was like, oh yeah, no, and no, no, can't do that. You know, nope, nope, nope. This doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You know, he's a Euro. He doesn't speak English. Blah 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 blah. You know that type of shit. So it was just like, yeah, it was, it was just more or less. He was just a product, a byproduct of some some old, some old bullshit, really. Um, and on top of that, with Triple G, like in Triple G's prime, people avoided. Triple G. No one really avoided Spence like that. Like you know, it was just thank like, you. Yeah, Spence. Spence. People would love to look, would fight Spence. Like you know, like people. Think like, about people, this. How many actual contenders Spence fought in their prime or on his level on his when he was coming up? He was fed a lot of easy like cannon fodder niggas. Right. Like Golovkin was literally fighting contenders and other champions. Like I don't like. Like, like, 
Where where is Spence's damn Martin Murray's in 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 fucking um Gills and all these other niggas? Yeah. So it's like, and that's and that's and that's where Triple G is kind of like, yeah. I mean, yeah, Triple G was destroying. I mean, even though one sixty was what it was, like you know the fact that you know he had the lineal champion himself. He had Sturm. He had Miguel Cotto. Who, uh, you know, they all like to say like, nah, we're not fighting him. Triple. I mean, Cotto gave up a belt. You know, because I mean, Triple G played. You know, played the game and got uh, got an interim belt from you know. From knocking out Rubio and Cotto was champion. Cotto was like, "Yeah, fuck that! Like, I'm giving up this belt. The fuck you mean?" Yo, yo, I got a question real quick. What's up? If if Spence would have either beaten or drawn with Crawford, would y'all have said he got a better career than Golovkin? Yeah, you could. You, you if, yeah. if he would have beat Crawford and like legit beat him, no robbery, no gift. Like, if, if he's not better than Golovkin, I would. I, I'm. I, I'd probably put him a tie. Only because Golovkin was robbed by Canelo. But if he knocks out Crawford, he'd have to probably be better. Would you say he's all the famer? If you won yeah. that fight? If he would have won that fight, yeah. He what needed to win that fucking fight, bro. Yeah. yeah. Remember, because yeah, this that- is the thing. Spence didn't have a bunch of fucking list of contenders. Like, he didn't really clear out a division yeah. before he got his names. It's, it's not like, both, both like Jermel niggas- Charlo did. Both of them niggas needed that fight, but it seems like Spence needed it more because you see what the loss did to him. Thank well, you. Well, we got destroyed pretty bad. <laughs> that was well because bad. Look, if Crawford loses, Crawford would still be a Hall of Famer. Would still be a Hall of Famer in my book if he would have lost to Spence. A three division, yeah, three division. Yeah, yeah. And then Marquise, I know because you, you, you mentioned Lamont Peterson. Lamont Peterson, at that, at the, I mean. Yeah, it is. You know, Spence did put his foot in Lamont Peterson's ass. I'm not gonna lie. Like, and yeah, was, and that was Peterson that was coming off a win, so it wasn't. Well, Peterson like, had better days, and 140 was, was his prime. Yeah, See, well, you can say that too. Like, yeah, but that's the thing. Like, like Spence needed like three or four, or five more of those damn Lamont Peterson type wins. Golovkin got a whole record of them shits. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the difference. Like Spence literally just has Peterson, the Garcia twins, <laughs> the fucking um and U- Ugas. Yeah, Ugas. <laughs> I mean, oh Porter, yeah, you give him and, and you give him Brooke, but then it's like, Porter well, Danny, I mean, the Lovekin. <laughs> I mean, Porter, Danny Garcia. I don't know. I just feel like you know, getting three belts and the world two. I don't know. He might get him still, but yeah, I mean, you have to give him not the triple G. I mean. He did more. He did more, and he he didn't look. He's never looked out of his element like how Bud made Crawford. I mean, yeah, like that's how Bud made Spence look. You know, Bud yeah. Made- I mean, that's the one thing. Yeah, Triple G. Like, I mean, like, I mean, honestly, the thing was, mo- I mean, understand it. Like, Triple G wasn't just like, someone that was just knocking you out. He could box. Like, dude, box at a high level. Like, you know, dude, you don't. Dude wasn't losing rounds. Like, if he lost, I mean. Like it, it, I mean, there are people that give it. I mean, a, a good fight. I mean, Uma gave him, gave him a really good fight until he got broke down, brutally. I mean, I mean Triple G was, but uh, Triple G was was a, a little archaic and being the um, what's the Japanese guy he beat before he fought? Uh, the Sita. No, no, recently. I'm talking about the one before before Canelo. Oh, the, oh the, Murata. 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 Yeah, he he made. I mean, Murata was a formidable. You know. Somewhat for formidable. You know, I completely forgot about that fight. Like, dude, where's Sprint's where's Sprint's Corolla victory? Like, <laughs> like, like, where is his Murata fight? Like, come on, man. Like, if, if you're going to hype up the Ugas fight, Ugas is every like Murata and Ugas are like neck and neck, li- literally. Like, like, so it's like I don't get this. So it's like. The niggas who own that other shit, man, like y'all just haters, bro. Like y'all just like cause I'm not hearing not one good argument from these niggas, yo. Yeah. There's none at all. Like, yo, it's it's okay, man. Like y'all ain't gotta like Golovkin. Yeah, though, but yeah, I mean, well, like, like I said, though, with well, like I said, with, with Spence, Spence has time. It just now depends yeah. on if he makes the right fights to actually do it. Do you think he's gonna fight this year? If he fights, it's gonna be at the end of this year. That's for damn sure. Isn't it? Like, yeah, like is all his fights gotta be meaningful if, if we want this nigga to pass Golovkin, right? And he would have to win another belt to do it. 
Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I mean, and uh, take a 154 belt. Take a take a zero. Take a real zero for at 154 or something like that. Yeah, take a real zero, win a belt. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, like my boy Sir Cannon said, he might Spence might be finished. I think we're doing wishful thinking here, but you know, yeah, that's the crazy part. Like niggas, niggas, his career is getting ended like that, and y'all gonna throw him over Golovkin? Get the fuck out of here! Like, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> niggas need a brick to the face with that logic. Like, you know, certain American bias there. May, you, know. may you ever eat? May you eat hard jabs in your sleep, nigga? Like the fuck. But yeah, twenty eight percent of y'all niggas. Yeah, like I said, I mean, yeah, I was like triple. Also, like I said, you know, it's the American bias. You know, I mean, we we get it, it happens. You know, Spence obviously is an American. Well, well, depends. Spence has beaten better opponents, but Golovkin dominated one sixty for a long time. A pretty weak division, though. So who are these big better opponents than the Golovkin that, that Spence beat? Like, you see, like, hey, get the fuck out, hating ass nigga, like. Oh, you talking about one of the quotes? One of the quotes on that? Because one of the uh, posts, yeah. No, I'm saying there are a few quotes on the, on, on on the Twitter poll that that was saying that uh, that uh. I see 18. God damn! I was just looking at the comments. I didn't even see the uh. I didn't even look at the quotes. Oh, we had 18 quotes. <laughs> yeah, I know we had like three or four before. God damn, we had 18 quotes. 18, dude. Eight. This the, the uh the poll was reposted 18 times. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there gotta be like some quotes in there. Yeah, there, <laughs> yeah, well, there, there are four quotes. I mean, one that says Triple G is the first ballot Hall of Famer. Spence won't make it to the Hall of Fame. And another one says Spence easy. Triple G fought two elite fighters of Canelo and Jacobs and lost both, in my opinion. And then <laughs> and one said Triple G easily, and the other one that said fairly easy, but didn't really say who. Yeah. Yeah, like the fuck out of it. Good question. Spence resume is better in adversity as to his legacy. What the car accident? That's the only adversity, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> the, nigga lost all the other adversity. Like, what the? F- I'm saying, Spence Jr. All right, get out of here. You jumped out the window, nigga. Yeah, let's see. I mean, uh, I mean, there are people. I mean, somebody Spence- said you can't be serious, but I mean, you gotta fucking, <laughs> you gotta pick one, bro. You can't- <laughs> How we know, nigga? <laughs> yeah, the love can by far, yeah. The love can beat Canelo, so there's your answer. I don't know. Tell them, tell these other 28%, because 28% out of 355 is a lot of motherfuckers. A lot of wrong motherfuckers. <laughs> like, goddamn. Like, a lot of proudly. Like, dude, these is Jigga versus DMX numbers. I mean, honestly, I thought the poll would have been a lot closer. Like, I saw maybe 55, 45 shit, or 52, 48, or something. I, I guess I got more hope than that. Like, I <laughs> this nigga said. 55 48. Uh, God uh, damn. Like, uh, no, I, I said 52 48. I, I thought it would be somewhere like. Still bad. I, I thought it would be at least, at least 60 40, but I didn't think, I didn't expect the, the discrepancy to be that, that wide. I was like, gee, okay, okay. It had to, like, come on. Like, bro, like. I mean, I, I, and honestly, you know what? And honestly, I think it's probably that way because I mean, if if it was if they if we did the poll like this before Spence uh, lost to Crawford, it probably would be a little bit closer. Yeah, it probably would. Yeah, yeah. If, but see, I think yeah, but that shit was a landslide. Huh? I said that shit was a landslide victory. Yeah. <laughs> you see, the thing is, the like, if you would have did this poll after. The Ugas and Murata fights. So you take, you take, but see, that's the whole, <laughs> they, they, they happen at different times and shit. Cause it's like, so you'll be looking at one nigga who both let off a loss, one nigga at his best. But even then, yeah, it's still, it, it, it would always be closer, but that Crawford loss just, yeah. that's a hard loss, bro. And most, and, and most, I mean, most people you ask are going to say Triple G should have won. At least the first Canelo fight, so. Of course, yeah. yeah. You'll get more of that, where it's like, like, I don't know, like, you get more wishful thinking with Spencer Crawford, but damn, niggas really want Spencer to come back, though. I just, yeah. But yeah, Sir Kanan, I, I think he's finished too, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, the, the accumulated damage is, is starting to pile up with that dude. It's just, Especially, hey, I mean, you know, he's not no spring chicken either anymore, either, so it's like, yeah. All right, peace, King Song. King Song. I'm sorry, damn. Peace, peace out, peace out, peace out, King Money. Peace out, brother. Salute.
Don't don't finish Tekken Eight so fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, I mean, like, like I said, I mean, I mean, I will say though, I mean, for most, for as much as people try to kind of suppress Triple G and everything like that, at least, yeah, I mean, at least, at least it's like decent. Okay, you know, well, people still, you know, realize Triple G was actually either Triple G's career is age, starting to age well or whatever. Because you know, like I said, the way people were talking about him, this nigga was like trash. Like you know, it was like I was like. I mean, Lord knows, Lord knows how many times I've had to repeat myself about Triple G and Durianchenko. Like, geez, like you know, yeah. Like niggas always make it seem like th- that's where the hate comes from. Niggas be making it seem like that was a one-sided fight. Yeah, like, it, y'all see what this nigga looked like afterwards? Yeah, Did y'all was, see a ref could have stopped the fight early. Yeah, like it was a two-way fight though. But and yes, Durianchenko fought out of his mind, but Durianchenko played a price. There's, there's, the reason why that nigga has a journeyman's record right now is because largely because of the damage he got in the Triple G fight. Took this nigga like like almost like what four years to, to, to even have a great performance again. Right. <laughs> like dude, y'all you ask Monkey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's nigga like, literally, yo, if Monkey fights Derby and Chenko right after the Golovkin fight, he stopped Derby and Chenko. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and like the, and people like to say, oh, Durant did this, like he I did it. Yeah, Durant Chico fought out of his mind. We we put respect. Durant Chico, you know, put real put hands on Triple G, but he paid the price for doing it. You know, like I said, because you can't stay in Triple G's like you, know, you can't stay in Triple G's range and think you can absorb all them shots like Canelo did it because Canelo has a chin. Like you know, that's, there's no question about and, that. And, see, and niggas got to remember. Canelo gives those angles and he does the shoulder roll head movement. He fucking takes. Impact off he, the he, shots, he, he rolls. He rolls with the punches. Durian Chenko well, doesn't like, any of that shit. Durian Chenko has better. Uh, his footwork. defense is more up and down, but it's more footwork based. Like he'll move his head some. Like it's it's better than average. But <sighs> and, and and in that fight, Golovkin was still getting that one two off. Right. So yeah. so yeah, like but yeah, it's, niggas got to be honest, man. Like yeah. But like I said, though we 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 do, I mean, if Spence, if Spence can make a comeback, Spence has a window to do it. But it just really depends if he can hold up to that window, if his body can hold up to it. So it's like you know, and, and so that remains to be seen. Uh, but yeah, though, but like I said, I was surprised by the score, the, why it was so it, the discrepancy. But hey, you know, it was close at first, but I think you know. The notion is that we do have a lot of true boxing fans that follow us, you know. Yeah, it's also true. Yeah. Yeah. I think it came down to because, I mean, I, what's the last Twitter poll that we had in a while that got this amount of votes? It's been a minute. It's been a while. Yeah. I mean, we've got ones that's like 80 and 100. 300. But a, yeah. yeah, but 355, it's been a, a good minute. Like, I don't know why this niggas be getting triggered with. Spence, I mean, you know, Spence, you know, you Spence is a trigger, and so is Triple G. Yeah, Triple G, yeah. yeah, two different communities. You know what I'm saying? Now leave that because even the uh, the the Saudi Arabia, the the Tank Ryan one, oh no, the Haney Haney Tank one had like a hundred some votes, or so even that was like booming. Yeah, but yeah. it ain't go like this, like damn. <laughs> no, but it's a while. So that so that lets me know that y'all young niggas, y'all ain't put enough work in yet. The two niggas who's basically retired still got more buzz than y'all. Message. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's all but, I'm uh, saying. So yeah, I think we've probably. Yeah, no, I'm just looking at time. I think we've kind of we've come to the end of our show for tonight. Get some final thoughts because I know Razor Cane is probably gonna be available soon. Pilot, is it available? I uh, I don't. My, my boy don't have the app right now, so I might need to ask LB to send me the link. Send me the. Send me that that thing, you know what I mean? Oh, word, word, word! I got, it. I just checked this. Yeah, sir. I'm not oh. seeing, I'm not seeing it on, on on my two my two backups. Yeah, pause, yeah, pause, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pause, 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 no, because yeah, like, I don't like, see it up here yet. Uh, pilot, yeah. this nigga probably put a twang in that shit. I was like, God, yeah, God. he was like, send me that thing. That yeah. was <laughs> crazy. That was kind of crazy. I said, I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said <laughs> 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 
<laughs> salute to everybody. It's yeah. fucking hilarious today, son. <laughs> salute to everybody in the comments. Salute to Miss Rashid. Thank you for the engagement. You know, yo, thank you for spreading Miss Rashid yo, on on Instagram and Twitter. Yo, Miss Rashid, yo, you got you you got it because I was trying to retweet your post. I couldn't because you have that shit kind of locked down on IG and um in yeah. Twitter. Uh, Mr. C, though, but yeah, no, I want you definitely. Uh, de- thank you for the extra support. Salute to Lisa. Rob, you know, Kang, Sir Cannon, Marquise, yeah, everybody Sir out Cannon, there. I've, Marquise, of course, Marquise has been like, is like day one. I know it was, is a day one for us, too, because you know, um, in terms of supporting us, like he was like off rip, <laughs> you uh, know, yeah, and, and, and Anthony you know. Manzano, of course, with this question, salute to him and everything like that. And and salute to everyone, as well. yeah, but uh, um, Deontay as well. Uh, Earn with the John Ryder game. <laughs> I'm just scrolling let's back. Thank, let's thank God while we here. Let's thank God while we here. Oh yeah, thank you, God. Thank God. Yes, absolutely. You know, for giving us the ability to have this chemistry that we have, and to give y'all the, the shit that you want and need. You know what I'm saying? Because literally, no one does it like us. Like, nah. Yo, like, yo, real. I got a real quick point. Y'all seen that Griselda show yet? I have not. It's pretty fire. <laughs> Started. No, it's only, I, I it's only, it's it's only it's six episodes. Oh, with, with, with my girl Sophia, 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 Sophia Vergara, right? She's playing um Griselda. She's playing. Yeah. She's playing. Yeah, it's not a documentary. It's like it's a real show. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Sophia, Vergara. Vergara. Sophia Vergara is playing. Yeah, yeah, this is overdone. I, I'll see it when I see it. I'm in. The <laughs> I'll see it when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> But yo, no, you don't be watching no gangster shows and shit like that. Like, yeah, nigga. My final thoughts is it's six episodes, nigga. Just watch it, nigga. It's quick. That's only six hours. Y'all niggas do. I watch it while I watch it. <laughs> no, no, it's actually on my list. Like, I do want to fuck with it. Like, don't get me wrong. It's just nigga, movies, Monday night, movies, Monday night Raw and movies. SmackDown can wait, nigga. I'm sure. <laughs> the niggas <have> got reruns. <laughs> the said SmackDown can wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, use a still use a silly nigga, bro. Like, <laughs> chill with the wrestling, watch some gangster shit. <laughs> like shit, see the plug, nigga. Like fuck, fuck this damn jumping off the top rope. Oh my Jump off this top oh dope, God. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Jump off with this top <laughs> coat, nigga. Fuck a top I've rope, seen, top coat. They they've done so much with Griselda. That like it's just like I don't even care anymore. I, like, so I hold on, how many? So so what are the TV shows they did with Griselda? Did I miss one? They've, they've done so many documentaries and shows on on Griselda that y'all seen documentaries. How many TV shows? Didn't Ain't this the first one? Before? I'm pretty sure they did something like this before. Are you pretty sure? Or are you just hating, nigga? No, I'm not hating. I'm sure they did some. I'm, I'm, a I might TV wrong, show me... like a. Like a real TV show with Griselda. Who, who played Griselda before then? Let me see. Let me look it up. Cause yeah, if you gotta look it up, nigga, you don't remember, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, why you doing that, P? Uh, LB, your final thoughts, bro. Oh, they, they did some shit on Netflix about that. Uh, yeah, I knew, I knew that like years ago. What's it called, nigga? You ain't seen nothing yet, nigga. <laughs> You ain't give no name, uh, no actress name, no nothing. Who played Griselda? What was it? Was it called Griselda? Like, don't tell me Queen of the South or some shit, nigga. <laughs> I think it's called. Hold up. Oh, maybe this is the wrong thing. Hold up. Huh? Oh, what? 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 You no, know, it's it's worth the watch. It's like what they did with the OJ trial. They just redid it and made it nice and you know modern, nigga. Just watch the shit and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that OJ shit was dope, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, yo. Um, because okay. it don't even look bad. I haven't heard nothing bad about it. And niggas is already. This nigga King P is like, fuck that. I didn't Dude. say anything bad about it. I said I get to it when I get to it. Nigga, it be your tone, though, nigga. <laughs> but, yo, LB, yo, your final thoughts. Oh, all right, I'm sorry. While King P is still researching the imaginary Griselda show, um. Nah, it was a jolly good show. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm saying this. Yes, sir, it was a great show. Y'all niggas is funny as hell. Oh my god, like, if y'all don't fuck with Ring Game Radio as a podcast, record label, crew, comic book series, animated, I don't know what the fuck. You are missing the fuck out. Yes, sir. Seriously, like, all our interviews be sounding like damn origin stories. We got the best jokes, the spinoff jokes. 
the spin-off jokes be having cartoons, nigga. Yes, sir. Album reviews, fucking articles, training videos, and I'm putting up more training videos every fucking week, nigga. I still got more, nigga. Like, bro, like we we killing this shit. Be stay tuned for more collabs, more creative ass shit. Shout out to everybody else in Ring Game Radio that you don't see, cause it, it, I mean, like, the, don't get used to the damn voices on the podcast, cause they ain't gonna be the same voices in your fucking crib, nigga. So chill. <laughs> gang gang but yeah man uh that's a great show make sure you check us out on tiktok and everything if you follow follow me on shutterworm instagram you're gonna see like the most lit violent movies in my ig story so yeah, i'll be up on game so but ask pat niggas no nigga you'll see niggas get power bombed in windows and yes sir knocked off buses and faces blown off yeah yes sir yeah, yeah, we do so, man. Just make sure you rock with us, TikTok, all of that shit. We good. Yes, sir. AOP, you got some final thoughts for us, bro? Great show, very entertaining show, great reviews, great, uh, great back and forth as always. Um, it's what it is, you know. Ringgangradio.com. You know where to find this at. I'm tired, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, I, I take it you didn't find your show, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I did, but now I remember it was in Spanish. So, <laughs> ah, <laughs> so what's the name of the show, then, nigga? You found it? It'd be like Griselda in, in Spanish, like. So it's, hold on, show the name Griselda in Spanish. Hold up. No, <laughs> it's not la. Fuida Negra, and there was another one that was El Barron that was talked like that was with like El, um, Pablo Escobar and a whole bunch of other things. But they yeah, I don't on, think uh, on Griselda too. I don't think that shit was top ten in in movies though. Hey, yeah, nigga, sounds like you just on some bullshit, bro. And like, no, kind of and, and then there was time. a movie. There was other movies and docs. Like they've done, they've touched on the Griselda shit so much that I'm just like, okay, yeah, but it, it wasn't Sofia Vergara, and it wasn't no I big ass what? show directly for it, like the a, a actual script and everything, not a documentary. Like it wasn't nominated for awards before the shit even dropped. <laughs> Damn, like this nigga be just arguing. Like I see, like oh my god. <laughs> This nigga, this nigga's arguing wrong it, down for no and reason. It, and it's wrong because I don't know. I like movies based in Florida because being down here and seeing the movies that was done down here, I noticed all of the spots where it's at. So it, it, it's, it's raw, but it's it takes place in Miami in whatever time that is. What, nine, like the 70s or 80s? Mm-hmm. And it's crazy. They put so much money into the show, you can't even tell nothing about the new ages in the fucking shows. You can't tell shit. That's what's up. Like they changed Miami. They even like made the palm trees look different. All of the buildings look old as fuck. Alleys, everything. All of the cars. There's still parts of Miami that look old as fuck though, all right? <laughs> no, but it's like but nah, it's I'm crazy. crazy. It's like they shot everything there though. Even the boats they use look old. It's like, yo, what the fuck is going on? This shit it's, it's a dope piece. It's a dope piece. Nah, I'm definitely gonna fuck with it though. I feel you. Hey, yo, pilot, your final thoughts? No, nah, I don't got much. Shouts out to everybody. You know, I already said my piece. Everybody in the comments, um, you know, thank you for rocking with us, and we'll be back Monday. Yep. Yes, sir. And then, well, yeah, well, I mean, well, I, don't well, have well, much, well. I don't have... <laughs> yeah, I don't have too much to add to that other than, you know, like I said, you know, Ring Gangs, the squad, we got that shit you want and need, the website... You know, any streaming service, especially our, you know, our YouTube, you know, listen, like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends, and we can all be friends, you know what I'm saying? Because we do this shit for y'all, and of course, you know, you, you know, you see that strong, the, the banner across your screen, so yeah, you know, if you're feeling, you know, a little generous, you know, we have that PayPal that's active, you know what I'm saying? Because we do this shit for y'all. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll be back on Monday, you know what I'm saying, with some more shit that you want and need, so yeah, time to get up out of here, and you know, and wait for Raisin Cannon to come out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, yeah, so for myself, Pat Scorpio, the Ming representative, for LB Shuttleworth, the God of the Go artist, for King P. Bodega P., for Conscious Pilot, for Rome Top 5, AK Chicago Win. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. So, until next time, peace. Mm.
Quem? Quem? 